if she doesn't get the care that she needs, then it's going to go downhill very quickly. We are stopping in Issaquah right now just to get some lunch at our obligatory stop, Ivar's. Um, but they don't open till 11, so we're just gonna go mosey around in Fred Meyer. This little guy passed out. But he had so much fun on the plane. Cameron's just getting a little bit of work done and I'm feeding my addiction. Baby clothes. So we have been in Ellensburg for a little under 24 hours and assessed the situation completely, got a list of items that we really needed to get, um, you know, cleaning supplies, um, just basic medical supplies. We got a giant whiteboard for all the stuff that she needs done daily. Today I'm going to be cleaning and organizing everything in her room and in her bathroom and just getting everything set up for, you know, everyday routine care. We are all honestly pretty pretty upset with the care she received in the hospital and they discharged her without without a care honestly. It was like they they sent her home just to yeah get get rid of her. So we're all kind of scattering like picking up all the pieces and uh yeah it's it's, it's a lot a lot. There are really just not 
the resources we need here in this small town. Like, it's really terrifying, the shortage of health care that we have. As it stands, the kind of help that we can get is something like two times a week, and that is just not enough. We need something every day. So I think... I really, I have to extend my stay. Cameron will go home to, to tend to the animals and everything, but I, I have to stay because it is Easter weekend. I doubt anything's going to even start getting done until Tuesday, and that's when Cameron's flying back. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to extend my stay here at least a week or two and just help out because we have no help. There's no help. There are other siblings, of course, but they have kind of distanced themselves from this whole situation. I think they, um, they don't want to go through the experience, you know, and that's, that's tragic to me, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm willing to be here and do the hard things. My brother and sister-in-law were willing to be here and do the hard things, and, um, they do have to go back because their, their kids have to go back to school and all that. But uh, as it stands now, I'm, I'm the one that's going to be staying here with Kieran and trying to, trying to get a handle on the situation. Because as it stands, and I, I don't want to share too much about what's going on because, it, like I, I've said before, it's not my story to tell. Um, my mom has a chance at a good quality of life if she has the care that she needs and she doesn't have the care that she needs and if she doesn't get the care that she needs then it's going to go downhill very quickly so i'm i'm going to do it i'm going to set my business aside set my life and my goals and everything aside to stay and take care of my mom I don't know where I left off vlogging. I'm pretty exhausted. So if I already talked about this stuff, I apologize. I have been super, super busy just collecting all of the medical supplies that have been in random different places throughout the house and cleaning out my mom's room, getting it super, super organized. So, you know, when the care team comes in, everything's exactly where it needs to be. It's all labeled. I guess that's one good thing about being type A. <laughs> I got a lot of other things super clean. I scrubbed out their refrigerator. Um, I've been making my mother breakfast every morning, feeding it to her. Just really making sure that she has the nutrition that she needs to get stronger. Basically, it was like, we thought, we thought the nursing home, we thought the hospital was gonna be a good thing and it ended up being a really bad thing and like, like, they gave up on her, she gave up on herself. And I gotta say, the last few days since being here and really just giving her what she actually needs, she's seems to be coming back, honestly. There was a time when I just really didn't recognize who I was talking to, you know. And uh, that was one of the saddest, most scariest times, you know, apart from losing my daughter because it's my mom but she seems like she's doing so much better and I just really hope this is a trend that we continue on it changed my flight back Cameron's going back tomorrow and uh, I changed my flight back to the end of the month because Kieran has his his um, eight-month pediatrician appointment on May 1st so I do need to be back for that but I am staying to the end of the month to be my mom's full-time carer and um, ordered a bunch of stuff for Kieran so he's comfortable. Like I ordered a, a duplicate of his bouncer so he has something that's familiar because he's kind of, you know, a little in a bit of a culture shock, I guess. We didn't really get to celebrate his first Easter the way I had planned. Uh, didn't bring his Easter basket up here for, you know, understandable reasons. But I did find a bunch of my old childhood toys from the 90s, including a few little Easter toys that I gave him yesterday. We also took a couple of cute little photos in his Easter outfit, so at least we have that. And my parents have just really, really been enjoying seeing him and, and visiting with him and 
now they're gonna get to enjoy us for the next two and a half weeks. I'm hoping by that point we get full-time care coming in every day, um, get that all established, and if not, hopefully at that point um, I can switch off with someone else in my family. I know that there's other family members closer that are unwilling and, you know, just emotionally can't handle the situation. Which, like I've said before, is tragic, but, you know, it is what it is. There's one thing I've learned, it's, uh, there's two kinds of people. There's people that step up when shit goes downhill, and then there's people that run away. It's gonna be kind of interesting <laughs> trying to get around in a tiny, little, small, sleepy town. I guess I'll be doing a lot of walking. I guess that'll be my, my exercise, you know, my weight loss stuff. <laughs> but it'll also be kind of nice, because I think I need just like a little reset, you know? Just a little change of scenery. I often, I miss Washington a lot. There are a lot of things I don't miss, but I really do miss the cool, crisp, wet weather. I know a lot of people are not a fan of that. I love it. I'm, I, I can hardly see when it's sunny out. Like my eyes are burning all the time when it's sunny out. So this, like I can have my eyes wide open. It's nice. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling, but Today is our last full day with Cameron. Cameron's last full day with me and Kieran. And we've never spent more than, you know, a work shift apart. So, I mean, apart from when Kieran was in the NICU, but it's gonna be tough, but you know, if military families can do it, then so can we. We can, we can tough it out for two and a half weeks. So yeah, that's the mission. Next two and a half weeks. Help my mom not drop anchor where she's currently at and uh, get her get her in a better place. Again, thank you all so much for supporting us, watching us, lifting us up in prayer and good vibes. And um, I know I don't have this beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, <laughs> picturesque Instagram life, but you know, it's real. Thanks for sticking by us even when it isn't pretty.